way up to the sixth or seventh position after starting in 11th. Kevin, Kevin really flexing more muscle than anybody on the racetrack. And Gordy Johncock is coming into the pits. So Gordon Johncock, the defending champion of this race, is pulling into the pit area, and this definitely is not a routine pit stop. As a matter of fact, several of the crews that we talked with are anticipating only one stop in this 150-mile race. So water now, it appears, is being poured into the engine compartment as some smoke or vapor is seen coming from the engine compartment of that race car, and they're taking the cowling off, and it looks bad for Gordon Johncock. Well, this is, of course, the first time that Gordy, as we go back up front and look at Teo Bobby leading the race, the first time that Gordy has been in a march. He said he liked the car, and there's another competitor, Gary Bettenhausen, appears to have a problem. Gary started this race in 20th position and is running very slow in turn number three. Boy, Here is Teo Bobby. I'd say that Teo Bobby is running a pretty intelligent race. Gordon Johncock has stepped out of his race car, has taken the crash helmet off, and the car is being pushed back behind the wall. The number 20 STP march of Gordon Johncock is out of the race with engine failure. There is a very dejected Gordon Johncock watching what's Ridley going on. And and here is Gordon Johncock, the winner of that spectacular 1982 Indianapolis 500-mile race. And we have completed 11 laps of this 150-mile race. race car. Early drivers out of the race, Gordon Johncock, the winner of last year's Indy 500. Here is Gary Lee. Gordy, we certainly did not want to talk to you this early. Any indication of trouble before it actually happened? No, it just happened all of a sudden. I felt it going down the back stretch. It kind of hesitated and seized up. It felt like it was seizing up. Then I come apart going into three. You had engine trouble yesterday. They replaced this power plant last night. Were you happy with the chassis? Sonny Meyer, the engine man for the Patrick organization, uh, you had some indication of what happened with the power plant. Yeah, we went to, when they said, gentlemen, start your engines, we went to spin the engine over, and the cylinders were full of fuel. Apparently, the fuel valve malfunctioned. Fill the engine full of fuel. When we went to start the engine, the engine was locked up, so we had Gordy put it in gear. We pushed the engine over backwards to release the fuel out the exhaust pipe. And when we went, when we started, as I was coming back to the pits, I told Mr. Patrick, I said, we probably won't run very far because it has a connecting out of the race. Well, there were many people that thought the Gordon Johncock and March combination was a good one, but it didn't last very long here at Milwaukee. Kevin